Donald Trump's trade advisor Peter Navarro has blamed India for fueling the Russia-Ukraine conflict and called it Modi's war. So we, everybody in America loses because of what India is doing. And then the taxpayers lose because we got to fund Modi's war, okay? Partly right through you New mean Delhi. War? I Modi's mean war. Modi's okay. war. The Indian army foiled an infiltration attempt by Pakistani terrorists along the line of control, eliminating two terrorists in the ensuing encounter. Three Pakistani terrorists have infiltrated into Bihar via the Nepal border, and all three are confirmed Pakistani nationals. Airbus Helicopters has awarded a contract to India's Mohindra Aero Structures Private Limited to manufacture main fuselage of H-125 helicopters in India. The Deputy Chief of Naval Staff has said that the Navy is seeking specialized counter-drone systems to protect naval assets, without draining its costlier defense resources against cheap drones. Turkish media has expressed outrage over Indian reports noting that the Agni 5 ICBM could reach Turkey. The Speaker of the Assembly of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus has accused India of destabilizing the Eastern Mediterranean after reports of India offering BrahMos missiles to Cyprus. He warned that the cooperation with Cyprus threatens Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and challenges Turkey's regional influence. The Indian Army's Aviation Corps is planning to procure 12 more Apache helicopters, in addition to the six already ordered. After General Electric committed to steady F-404 engine deliveries from 2026, HAL is renewing Tejas Mark 1A export push targeting markets in Southeast Asia Africa and Latin America, and now the offer includes full export packages including aircraft training and long-term MRO support. The DRDO is developing a siloxin-based plasma polymerization coating on stretched acrylic panels, to enable transparent conducting coating for Tejas canopy and windshield, aimed at reducing radar cross-section. The Indian Foreign Secretary has announced that India and Japan have launched the Unicorn Project for Indian Navy warships. Japan will provide design support, while Bharat Electronics Limited will lead integration and production. The Indian Navy will arm all frontline warships with BrahMos supersonic missiles by 2030. Already deployed on 14 stealth frigates, BrahMos will be integrated across 20 frigates and 13 destroyers boosting strike power in the Indo-Pacific. India is developing space-based interceptors designed to carry out boost phase interception under the Sudo Sun Chakra Air Defense Shield program to neutralize missiles before warheads are released. The system will integrate space-based sensors, satellites and high-speed kill vehicles to counter advanced ballistic missiles and MIRF warheads from China and Pakistan. The RDO's Aeronautical Development Agency is developing an AI-powered e-pilot system for the AMCA Mark II. The e-pilot system was initially designed to assist pilots with combat tasks, but the system has now achieved autonomous takeoff and landing milestones on the swift test bed, paving the way for pilotless AMCA operations in high-risk missions. The DRDO is developing the Mach 5 Plus Rudrum 4 long-range standoff weapon with a range of 1,500 km. Its lightweight design will allow integration on Su-30 Mirage 2000 and Rafale fighters. It will be lighter than the Rudrum 3, that will enable multiple carriage loadouts. Initial captive flight trials on Su-30 will start in 2028, followed by fire validation against simulated targets. User trials will start in 2029 against both naval and land-based targets, and full operational clearance and induction is expected by 2031. Today's top 3 comments